Oh, hi. Hi. Can I can I help you? Can you help me? I'm sorry. I'm really busy right now. We're really under the gun with the small thing. Not going so well. No, it's going. <clears throat> it's going great. Really great. We're. Uh, presenting to Stu this afternoon. Uh, David is coming back into town, so he wants to be able to present. You ever solve the uh, duct thing? Absolutely. Oh yeah? What'd you do? Uh, it's complicated. I didn't think so. Well, it is. Because I looked at it quite a while. They had a space problem when they did the first renovation on that. Whoever figured out how to overlap those things was some kind of genius. So now there's only one way, honestly, to pull them apart, but it's pretty straightforward. Well, we have a terrific solution. Does Ben think that? You spoke with Ben? No, I just wondered if he agrees with you, that you have a terrific solution. Absolutely. That means no. Look. So you and Ronald, like whatever lame ass idea you came up with, but Ben doesn't, and he's the only one who has a clue, and he knows you guys are gonna get hammered. I'm not the one getting hammered around here. No, you're not, as a matter of fact, you're not. No, if you don't mind. If I don't mind what? Forget it, I have to go. I need to talk to you. I'm sorry, I just don't have time. I never attacked you. I never. I did not attack you. You did? I came to you and asked you for the background on that fucking office building. Yeah, and, and I gave you everything. I gave you everything you asked for. That guy is not a clerk. He is the project liaison. You told me to call him. No, I didn't tell you to call him. You did. You most certainly did. You said- no, no, you came in and took over my project and then you tossed out everything that I did. You hadn't done anything. What you gave me was nothing. I gave you everything. You I gave you sabotaged me in that meeting. Look, I know it doesn't feel great when your work isn't received well. No, no it doesn't. It feels fucking shitty. Especially when the one person in the office who maybe could support you shoots you in the fucking back. You want me to support you? I certainly don't think you should be attacking me. You think that's going to get you something with this crowd? Look, I've lasted a lot longer here than you ever will. And the fact is, I tried to help you. I did. But you came in here and you expected... What did you expect? You came in here like you're better than everybody else. Crying out loud. That's what they hired me. That's why they hired me. They told me up front, I was gonna have to be eight times as good as the fucking boneheads they normally hire. Well, when you hire a woman eight times as good, that's what you end up with. A woman who's eight times as good as everyone else. You're hardly eight oh, times as good. I am too. You clearly were not good enough to take over my project. I didn't. You went to Stu and asked for it. Everyone in the building knows it. How is it your project? You said yourself you, didn't, you hadn't done anything on it. There's no deadline on this thing and we're getting paid shit for it anyway. That is my point. I went after it because I thought, <laughs> Jesus, I thought it might be insignificant enough that but everyone has projects lying around in their offices like that. Everyone except for me? Yeah, and you didn't go after them, did you? No, you didn't go after Weber or Ben. You went after me because I'm the other woman. You, you thought you're, you could get away with it because you're only poaching from a girl? <laughs> and what, I'm supposed to feel bad that I didn't stand up for you in that meeting because I'm the other girl and what we should be sticking together screw you they expect us to, to stick together and they expect me to be your sidekick I love that I've been here for 
three years, you come in and in five months, you have everyone completely pissed off and I'm supposed to stand up for you because why? Because we both have breasts and a vagina. <laughs> Look, why don't we just go shopping together? Because that'll solve everything. That's not. Look, why are you even here? Why are you complaining to me? Because I'm the other, I'm the other girl. You think you can dump all this on me because I'm the other girl? Well, I'm, guess what? I'm not interested. You're a loose cannon and you make the both of us look bad. And then you come to my office and expect me to take care of you? I tried to fucking take care of you and you weren't interested. You took care of me? Sorry, I missed that part. I told you how to keep your mouth shut. I told you to give him space. I told you how to handle him. Handle him? Why do I have to handle all these cocksuckers? I came here to work. I was hired to work. Yeah, and no one here wants to work with you. So that's a problem. This isn't my fault. You're a malcontent. Of course I'm a malcontent. They shoved me in a corner and ignored me for five fucking months. Only a fucking idiot would be contented with that. Yeah, well, they ignored me for a full fucking year when they weren't asking me to fetch them coffee. Oh, so what? You're better than me because you know how to put up with their bullshit? That doesn't make you smart. That makes you a pussy. <laughs>